So here we are at the uh, Airbus Shop Floor Challenge. So the goal of this uh, challenge is uh, to have uh, teams uh, that drill holes on a representative configuration, like if it was on the aircraft. And then we are assessing uh, those holes uh, and the pattern they've drilled based upon uh, defined rules, uh, like the accuracy of the positioning, the quality of the hole. Uh, and we are also using some uh, qualitative criteria to define whether uh, their uh, technical solution makes sense for Airbus or not. We are Team Bug Eaters. We are uh, from the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. We're four mechanical engineering seniors. It was really inspiring not just to see a lot of people who are working just as hard as we are, but also coming up with some really creative ideas. Akita Prefecture University team. Uh, it is shortened to Akita team. The challenge gives us very unique uh, environment and challenge, and our spirits are purificated <laughs> by the challenge. Uh, it's very honor for us for the the chance for such a uh, precious time uh, and very thanks to the Airbus staff. Thank you. This is Team Vayu. Vayu in Hindi means air. And we have named our team that because we are all aerospace students. What the robot basically works on is a three-axis independent motion. We wanted to make it simple. Uh, we wanted to remove uh, any circular motion or rotation so we don't have to waste our time on fixing angles. This competition means so much to us as aerospace students because as aerospace students, we are making a change in the aerospace industry by, through this competition. We all study together at a grad school called Nara Institute of Science and Technology. Well, the overarching idea of our robot is flexibility over rigidity. The idea that we can use the robot's own motors and force rather than its stiffness, its heavy structure, to ensure precision while drilling. What we decided to do is we designed an end effector with three points of contact, which come down on the plate. They attach to the workpiece, so to say. Then the robot presses down on it. It pushes on the end effector. And that's what gives the drill its stability. I think what means the most to us in this competition is the challenge and the opportunities it brings. We're R3. Uh, so we're a robotics collective from Ryerson University in Toronto, Canada. Our robot is uh, pretty simple. We have three drills that are geared together to, on seven drill bits so that we can drill seven drill bits that are constrained and just do the whole pattern basically seven times as fast as anyone else. Uh, being in this competition means a lot to us. Uh, we put in a lot of work, a lot of effort. Uh, so to see it come to fruition and be able to compete against teams from around the world, it really is excellent. We are from NTU Singapore. Basically, we didn't build anything. We just bought that and assembled, and then we do the programming. Basically, using this 3D camera, we're going to try to locate the reference holes. From the reference holes, we get the panel position and orientation in space. After that, we have a motion planning algorithm to plan the motion of the robot to move to the drilling position, and then we just drill. Now, with this, very practical challenge. We have to put all our uh, theoretical knowledge into practice. I mean, independently of the result we're going to have, uh, the fact that we have worked really hard um, to put our ideas into practice, uh, I think that's the most meaningful uh, for us. So hello everyone, I'm uh, David Busson from Team Cirado, France. The robot is an LBR EWA, so it's the latest born of KUKA. So the end effector includes um, a drilling bit um, a camera and a laser to relocate the, the end effector in, in regard to its environment and a um, lubrification system that uh, helps with the drilling as well as uh, blowing to, to blow the, the bits of uh, aluminium during the drilling process. So um, we are very proud to be um, accepted for the selections and, uh, and very happy to be here, finally be here. We, we achieved a, a bit of hard work to, to come here in, because we, we developed it in quite a small amount of time. But I think this is the case for everyone here. The rules of the competition are guys uh, have to, to drill holes, maximum quality of holes in one hour uh, and at the right position and with the good quality.
So the, the robot needs to be less than 100 kilograms, so lightweight for us, uh, and then easy to integrate into production afterwards. Uh, it has to be modular, uh, so it means that uh, there are uh, parts of the robots that are inter interchangeable uh, from an hardware standpoint, but also from a software standpoint. Uh, and it has to be low cost also. So if the, uh, if the whole diameter is correct, they got two points. Uh, if the uh, whole position is correct, they got uh, three more points. Uh, and they can also have negative points in case of the uh, hole is badly positioned. Uh, also, they got zero points if the hole is not drilled, uh, obviously. And we are also uh, counting the quantity of holes drilled by the team. So uh, the quicker they are, the better it is. Uh, and we also have some uh, difficult access area, constrained areas, uh, where if they are able to drill holes in those areas, they are uh, getting a large amount of points. I would, like, I would like to say that the, uh, the, uh, all the teams involved uh, were really deeply involved and it was a great pleasure to me to, uh, to, uh, to have all those young guys uh, full of energy and uh, uh, working on their stuff like crazy people and uh, it was really fun. Uh, so I, I really appreciate that and I think it was also a very good opportunity for them to share together, to learn from each other, uh, which, which is amazing to me. In third place, Team Serato from France. Second place, Pre Group from Singapore.